Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another edition of uh, uh, Scott Sports 101 NFL Week 16 Recap Show and Monday Night Football uh, Post Game Show because the Monday Night Football game has just gone final. The Miami Dolphins walloped the uh, New Orleans Saints 20 to 3, and Mercedes Benz Superdome in New Orleans. We're going to talk about that all the action of this week in Week 16. So, uh, uh, but first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question for Week 16 of the NFL, and it's a uh, New Orleans Saints trivia question. Who was the first player to be elected to the Hall of Fame, having played the, played the majority of his career as a as a Saint? I will have the answer later on the podcast. Well, it's been a very interesting week of football in Week 16 of the NFL. We've had several upsets this week, including Baker Mayfield throwing four interceptions uh, in the Browns' 24-22 loss to the Green Bay Packers on Christmas Day. The Browns must win these last two remaining games to have a chance to make the playoffs. And uh, right now the playoff race is tight in the... uh, in, in both the AFC and NFC and the race for the four for the wild card spots in both the AFC and NFC is tight as well. So it could go either way. This is gonna come down to the wire to see who makes the playoffs so uh, and who wins the division as well. Uh, so uh, we'll get to the Monday night game. I don't know right now we're gonna go over all the action. And I'll do picks of the week as well for my brother-in-law. Now we called it a bio. He was not feeling well, so it was just me. So I'll tell you who I took for each game. We'll start with the one from Thursday night last week that kicked it, which was the final Thursday night football game of the uh, uh, regular season. So uh, my Thursday night football podcasts are done, although I did not get to do a, have a chance to do because I was so busy getting ready for the holiday. I didn't get a chance to do a, uh, pre-game show or post-game show, but I have more of those for you next season. Uh, but the uh, Tennessee Titans beat the uh, the, 40, the San Francisco 49ers 20-17 to at Nissan Stadium. Uh, the 49ers had a chance, but they just could not do it, and the Titans got the game balls. Uh, Ryan Tanhill and A.J. Brown, and uh, they just played well in this one. And the two from Saturday. Uh... The Browns lost to the Green Bay Packers 24-22 at Lambeau Field in uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, and uh, as you know, Baker Mayfield lost this game for us. He threw four interceptions in this game. And uh, especially the one in the fourth quarter, that's the one that lost it for us. And too many missed field goals and too many missed extra points. And But the Browns did come back and they had a chance to win, but they could not do it in the fourth quarter. And uh, their playoff chances are, are chances are dwindling. They, as, as I said, they must win these last two games in order to make the playoffs. Uh, and the uh, Indianapolis Colts beat the Arizona Cardinals 20, 22 to sixteen at University of Phoenix Stadium, and uh, at in, in Glendale, Arizona. And Carson Wentz and uh, two other Colts players got the game balls for that one. And uh, and this is one of the uh, the Cardinals had a chance to to clinch a playoff berth and uh, the division, but couldn't do it. And the Rams have a chance to do it this week because uh, the Cardinals lack of, of winning. So uh, the Cardinals really need to win this week if they want to win the division. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons beat the Detroit Lions twenty to sixteen at Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta. And I give the game ball to Matt Ryan. Uh, Lions had a chance, but they could not do it. They couldn't get over that hurdle. The L- the LA Rams beat the Minnesota Vikings at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, thirty to twenty-three. I give the game ball to Matt Stafford. He's been playing well as of late. Uh, the uh, New York Jets beat the Jacksonville Jaguars at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, twenty-six to twenty-one. And uh, I. Got to give the the quarterback uh, the game ball. Um, I can't remember his name, but he, the quarterback gets the game ball. Uh, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles beat the New York Giants uh, 34-10 to at Lincoln Financial Field in uh, Philadelphia. And Jalen Hurts gets the game ball. And 
It just did not bode well for the Giants, and they couldn't do anything right. They had to sign up for one touchdown and one field goal on this one. The Eagles just had the uh, Giants number from the get-go in this game. The Buffalo Bills upset the New Orleans Patriot, the New England Patriots, as they lose to the Buffalo Bills at Gillette Stadium, 33 to 21. Josh Allen gets the game ball in that one, and uh, and they really just play. The Bills just uh, uh, Patriots had a chance, and they just could not do it. The Bills just really had, played well in this one. Uh, the Cincinnati Bengals really look good. They beat the. Uh, Baltimore Ravens 41 to 21 at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, uh, and Joe Burrow gets the game ball, and uh, Joe uh, Mixon also gets a game ball, and so, uh, but the Ravens just have not looked good because they've they've had guys on the COVID list and out with injuries, and Huntley just not, did not look good in this one. The Houston Texans beat the LA Chargers. At NRG Stadium, 41-29. Deshaun Watson gets the game ball in this one. And uh, Mark Ingram Jr., they get the game ball. They play well. Uh, Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers wall up the Carolina Panthers, 32-6. At uh, Bank of America Stadium in uh, North Carolina and uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, Cam Newton and the Panthers just not, did not look good. They had to settle for just two field goals. Tom Brady and Leonard Ferrante uh, and Antonio Brown, they get the game balls. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks come from behind, I mean the Chicago Bears, excuse me, come from behind to beat the, the Seattle Seahawks by 125-24. And uh, at Lumen Field in Seattle. And uh, Mitch Trubisky gets the game ball on that one. Or actually, no, the... the um, the other Bears quarterback gets it who played in the... Because I don't think it was... Nick Foles, he gets the game ball. That's who gets the game ball. Excuse me. Not Mr. Trubisky. Nick Foles gets it. Gets the game ball for that one. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> Seattle just, they could not hold on to the lead to get the win. And uh, it just has not, this has been one of their not, not, not so good seasons. Started out good, but didn't end good. The Las Vegas Raiders beat the Denver Broncos 17 to 13 at Legend Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, Derek Carr gets a game ball for that one, and Broncos had a chance, but they could not get over that hurdle. Uh, and wrapping up the late games, the Kansas City Chiefs uh, just slaughtered the Pittsburgh Steelers, 36 to 10. Patrick Mahomes, uh, Tyreek Hill, uh, Travis Kelsey, and Clyde Bertolaire get the game balls. Sunday Night Football, the uh, Dallas Cowboys just demolished. The uh, Washington football team, 56-14 to at AT&T Stadium. And then it just was not a good night for the Redskins. And I, Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, and C.D. Lamb get the game balls. And for tonight's Monday night game, the uh, Miami Dolphins beat the New Orleans Saints 20-3 just moments ago at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in New Orleans. Uh... Uh, uh, things just did not go, uh, the Saints way in this one, uh, tonight, and, uh, and they couldn't do anything right in the final two minutes either. The first chapter of I Am Brooks NFL Story has been written, and it ends with a loss. The Miami Dolphins were able to keep their playoff hopes alive as they Extended their winning streak to seven games after taking down the Saints and their rookie quarterback on the road, 20 to three. The game was in hand for Miami pretty early as they were able to pick off Brooke, who was uh, starting in his first ever NFL game due to Taysom Hill and Trevor uh, 
Uh, Seaman both landing on the cove at last on just the second attempt of the night as and returned it for a, a second pass attempt and returned it 28 yards for the touchdown. Uh, that occurred on New Orleans' opening offensive possession. The evening uh, and found the evening of the evening and found themselves playing from behind ever since. Meanwhile, Miami will continue to uh, tack on to its to its lead, particularly in the third quarter when they went on an 86-yard touchdown drive that uh, really put away any sort of shot the Saints uh, would have of uh, getting back into the playoff, getting in, getting back into this contest. Uh, as the Dolphins, Jalen Wade uh, continues to uh, uh, to be the X factor for the offense. Miami was uh, lining him up uh, uh, all around the field as he saw plenty of work catching 10 of his targets for 92 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Waddle also uh, now only trails uh, Aquan uh, Bolden for the most receptions uh, by a rookie in, an NFL, in NFL history. Saints uh, passing star Michael Thomas on Monday night. Meanwhile, Taga Taga Veloa uh, went 19 of 26 yards, passing for 198 yards and a touchdown and an interception. From here, the Dolphins will head to Nashville for a Week 17 matchup against the Tennessee Titans. After that, uh, they'll head back for a regular season finale against the New England Patriots. The Dolphins are able to keep their streak going over the over uh, that stretch, and they punch a ticket to the playoffs. As for the New Orleans Saints, they hang on. They'll hang around for around the Caesar Superdome and uh, evade the uh, Carolina Panthers next week before heading on the road to finish up uh, the year with, with a divisional game against the Atlanta Falcons. So this was one of those games where the road team just uh, de just dominated in this one. So uh, now I'm going to give out the game balls for this one. I got to get back onto the uh, my uh, CBS Sports app here. And uh, boy, this was just a dominating game. And uh, Miami led from the start of this one, and they never let up. And uh, they scored two touchdowns and two field goals in this one. So it was Miami's night. It was just their, their game and their night. So. Uh, now I'm going to give out the game balls. I got to... Um, and for the picks, uh, for Thursday nights, I took San Francisco, but lost on that one. I took Cleveland, to, the Browns to beat the Packers, lost on that one. I took Arizona to beat Indianapolis, lost on that one. I took New England, lost on that one, so I lost the first four. I took the Rams, Atlanta, Cincinnati, Philly, uh, Tampa Bay, and the Jets, won on those six. Lost on the Chargers, Houston games, I took the Chargers. I lost in Seattle and the uh, Chicago game, because I took Seattle. One, uh, Vegas, Kansas City, Dallas took them and won. And tonight I took New Orleans and lost on that one. So I went 96. 97 on my picks this week, excuse me. But uh, now to give out the game balls, uh, uh, for the, the Dolphins, get them a Taga 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 uh, Veloa. 19 of 26 carries and attempts, 198 yards, one touchdown. Uh, uh, D Demian, I guess Dave. Uh, Duke Johnson, excuse me, uh, 13 attempts, 39 yards, and uh, Jay, uh, Jalen Waddle, 10 receptions, 92 yards, one touchdown. Uh, now we will uh, preview the upcoming games for week 17 of the NFL in just a minute. But right now, I want to reveal the answer to today's uh, Scott Sports 101 uh, trivia question, who was the first player to be elected to the Hall of Fame having played the majority of his career as a Saint? And it was, you said, Ricky Jackson. You are correct. Jackson was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame 
uh, for the cl for the 2010 class. I'm not going to have time to go over the games coming up, but there was a lot beginning Sunday, so uh, I'll be back then. I'll be back later this week with one of my regular podcasts. But until then, always remember to be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.